Alrighty, so um, a woman, 91 year old, has sudden respiratory arrest, and our internet connection had sudden internet connection arrest. I had to resuscitate the internet router. But we are back online. And we have Sarah Navarro, 26 year old female, confirmed COVID 19 positive after a rapid test. She's going to the COVID unit. She's going to be going to Good Shepherd Hospital. Rebecca Nantes is going to the hospital. She's going to be getting spinal x-rays. She's going to be going to Northwest Community Hospital. Cooking Fire, located at 222 West Haddock Place, Chicago Fire Department, Engine 3, Engine 5, Speedy, Engine Company 42. I'm also going to have Engine 4, Speedy, accompany you guys. need you guys to go put out that kitchen fire. It's inside of Prime and Provisions. I think that's a steak restaurant. watch our guys are going to arrive there it's going to be a tiny little tiny fire and it's going to be like what you couldn't get a fire extinguisher out yourself Jardine water filtration plant a water filtration worker spilled a bottle of bleach onto their abdomen and down their pants and all over themselves basically and got bleach burns <laughs> Chicago ALS Rig 8 Northwestern Medicine, you are responding. Jack Kearney, a 38-year-old male. Must have been some small ass fire for them to extinguish it that fast.
That's some big ass fire engine for a tiny ass fire. Over at Ogilvy Transportation Center. Jasmine Willard, 47 year old female. fell down the escalator Chicago ALS rig 4 loop station you're responding a bystander saw the woman fall down the escalator a bystander hit the emergency stop on the escalator the escalator has been stopped station security has the area cordoned off and they are awaiting your response Ten missions, three thousand credits, tax refund. We need to get more weekend events. I'm really thinking we should probably get a ambo station in New York City. But for us to do that, I'm gonna have to suspend the phone lines in Chicago and Palatine temporarily while we figure out our construction plan for the new um, New York Ambulance Depot and whether it'll be a public or a private ambulance company is another major question that needs to be answered. Someone's really cranking the music. If you can hear that, my apologies. There's not much I'm able to do about it right now. I'm going to check and see what can be done. I will be right back briefly. I'm going to go see what the heck is going on out there because that is not a welcome sound. Next door lady, as usual, being a nuisance. Thing she doesn't know is that she's on tape right now. And if she keeps being a nuisance, I can set off the siren. That'll definitely ruin her music listening experience. So the question is, where do I want to build this ambulance depot?
so the real question is, do I want to build an ambulance station in New York? Because hospitals look pretty far and few between. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be building an ambulance station in New York. I might want to build my ambulance station elsewhere. It is rather a complex decision that I have to make here because there's so few hospitals in New York. Everything is so far between. I feel like I'd be driving people for ages to get them to a hospital. Sixth Avenue Medical Center. That's hmm, right by the Empire State Building. Hey, blind pilot. I'm currently trying to figure out where and if I'm going to build a AMBO station in New York. The other question is, will I be... Yeah, there's definitely people that need ambos. University Health Center. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a need for ambos. Alrighty, we'll uh we'll collocate with NYU. Lagone. Fledged ambulance station. Um, hmm. I gotta think here. ambulance calls all the way in New York and in Chicago. This this uh, makes me feel just a little bit nervous, to be honest. I'm not going to lie, this definitely makes me a bit nervous. And I just heard a transport request come in.
NYU Langone. New ambulance station. first ALS rig. We're going to staff it with one personnel and uh, I gotta shut that phone line before we get absolutely demolished because we have very thin staff there. Um, oh god this makes me nervous. Alrighty, so we bought a ambulance vehicle. That's a weekend credit. We get five thousand dollars tax refund. Built a new ambulance station, so that is a fifteen thousand dollar tax refund. Fifty thousand dollar tax refund for finishing five weekend tasks. We are supposed to build a small popo station somewhere. So a small popo station. I suppose we could put a small popo station in. I was thinking about, you know, I had my eyes on Toronto. thinking about putting uh, Popo Department at Pearson. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Buy two vehicles of any type. Yeah, I think we'll skip that Popo Station mission because I'd rather upgrade the New York Ambulance Depot and get another rig there. So yeah, we're going to upgrade our Ambulance Depot. Going to get three rigs available. someone who is sick located at East 23rd Street. She's 
she's uh she puked all over the ATM machine. She got sick at the bank. New York Ambulance ALS Rig 1 Langone, you're responding. Shorten the name here. On the call sign, because that way when they... See my call sign show up, they don't clutter the screen too much. Boy, that makes me nervous. Now we have to run Chicago ambulances, New York ambulances, Palatine ambulances. That's a lot of ambulances. Jack Kearney with the bleach spill. He's going to the hospital, burn ward. Chemical burns at Northwestern Memorial. Jasmine Willard was treated on site for minor scrapes and bruises from falling down that escalator. And now we're going to have to open up our phone lines ever so carefully. Oh boy, this makes me nervous. All phone lines open except for the New York lines. New York is going to be managed manually. But we do need to send our New York ambulances over to a, a site and get them transporting. Forty ninth Avenue subway station. New York Ambulance ALS Rig 2, you're responding. Sonia Wilcox, a 48 year old female. Smoke inhalation. Ambulance ALS Rig 3. You're responding to 1147 45th Avenue. 
A Cessna 172 made emergency landing on the roadway, and there were moderate injuries to the passenger and pilot on that aircraft. New York Ambulance ALS Rig 1, when you're done handling that sick individual and you clean up the rig, you're going to be heading over to this aircraft situation at 1147 45th Avenue. Joseph Usenes, a 41-year-old male, he managed to stop the chainsaw in time, but not in time, it, he definitely got some serious injury to his right elbow. Um, took off the entire outer layer of skin. Palatine ALS Rig 3 South, you are responding with Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1 and Engine 4 Speedy. fell from the ladder and uh, fractured his arm as well. By two vehicles of any type, we got plenty of ambos. We got $2,000. Chicago phone, I think. Nope, is that a New York phone? Nope. Although I do have Wall Street Cruiser 2, 3, 4, and uh, two, four, five, and six in need of new assignment. That was a Palatine phone that rang. I think that's the Harley Davidson dealership. No, that is a that is definitely a car dealership, though. I'm not sure which dealer, though. I think that's the Mazda dealer. Alejandro Nactez, four year old male, went into anaphylactic shock with his dad as they walked into the car dealership together. Palatine ALS Rig 8, you are responding.
Vanessa Ulrich, 39-year-old female, puked all over the ATM. Um, didn't need transportation to the hospital. She will be following up with her gastroenterologist. She probably got some mild food poisoning. But yeah, um, that's a that's one way to really embarrass yourself at the bank, puking all over the ATM. Gas station? More like puke station. Alrighty, our New York rigs are requesting transport. Which rigs? Kevin Natia. A 34-year-old male. Severe glass injury to left arm and fractured pelvis. He'll be transported to New York University. Um, where's NYU Langone? There's a lot of hospitals here, though. Definitely no shortage of uh, hospitals. That's good. There it is, but Langone doesn't have... So we'll take him to New York Presbyterian Medical Center. Cavicho, 44-year-old female. She's got burns to her left and right leg, and she inhaled toxic fumes. She'll be transported to New York Presbyterian. Alejandro Nactez, four year old male, stabilized after receiving the EpiPen. He's going to be transported to the hospital for an allergy evaluation because who the heck suddenly has an anaphylactic event just walking into a car dealership? It's a car dealership. What is there to be allergic to in a car dealership? We'll be taking him to Northwest Community Hospital in stable condition, although he doesn't need a trauma center, so he is stable. So I'm going to send him up to Good Shepherd Hospital, 
and he can go up to the pediatric unit there and it's a bit of a it's actually I think it's kind of closer it's about probably the same distance to there than to northwest when you look at the actual driving distance our chainsaw accident patient Joseph Usenes fell from the ladder definitely fractured his arm he also wounded his right elbow he's going to be transported to the hospital he's going to Northwest Community Hospital Trauma Center Sonia Wilcox, 48-year-old female with smoke inhalation from the train station subway collapse. She was treated on site. She did not need transportation to the hospital. NY, New York Ambulance, ALS Rig 2, you can go ahead and clear out of there. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 4. You are going to 2117 49th Avenue. Provide security. PD Wall Street Cruiser 2 and 5. You guys are going to 4015 Greenpoint Avenue. Accelerants were found near a fire source. You'll be assisting the fire investigators to inspect that potential case of arson. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 6. You are going to be going to 4720 37th Street. A person was hit by a subway train. that need ambos right now but that could very quickly change I just heard a call come in out of the Chicago line Jardin water filtration plant Baskenes, a 64-year-old male, dropped his phone into a vat of bleach, tried to reach in to grab it, and burned his left arm pretty badly. Uh, looking at second-degree burns. Third degree burns on his hand. Chicago ALS Rig 8, you're responding. I'm going to 
change my New York call signs, otherwise I'm going to wear out my throat with these long call signs. New York ALS Rig 1, New York ALS Rig 2, and New York ALS Rig 3. Let me see if I have ability to transfer over some employees. I'm pretty sure that we can bring over two. from each Palatine Ambulance Station. I could probably even afford to bring over three. Without causing us a shortage. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna be very careful about that. Let me uh let me do a double count here. So they have 12 employees active at Walgreens South and New York Ambulance needs 9 employees. And Walgreens North has 12 active so we could take I say we can take uh, five and five. So now we can fully staff these ambos, and if we wanted to get a fourth rig, we can. But the fourth rig will be basically a glorified Uber, because um, there will only be one EMT. Getting back, lay on the stretcher, and I'll drive you to the hospital. <laughs> I could have just hired an Uber, asshole. <laughs> East Bissell Drive. Gordon Flaherty. 39 year old male, no history of asthma, difficulty breathing. Palatine ALS rig. Four South, you are responding. <coughs> parking lot fire at the Falcon Park parking lot. Engine 1, Engine 3, Speedy, PFD North. Engine 4, Speedy, PFD South. And Pumper 1, PFD South. You guys are responding.
is a Chicago phone. the Tyson Foods warehouse basement utility fire two persons tried to extinguish the fire themselves got hurt CFD engine 1 engine 2 speedy engine company 1 CFD engine 5 speedy engine company 42 you guys are responding with engine company one, heavy rescue vehicle one, along with uh, water tanker one, engine company one. I'm going to send you over there just in case. Chicago ALS rig four and five loop station. You guys are responding to pick up those two burn patients. Joan Jalicento, correction, Yalicento, the J is silent. Joan Yalicento, a 27-year-old female meat packer injured in the basement fire. Daniel Quisiza, 39 year old male, Chicago Fire Department Engine 3, Engine Company 42, your assistance is needed at 400 South Jefferson Street, Tyson Foods Warehouse. Yvonne Ricardez, 15-year-old female, high school free runner. She fell into the lake after slipping on wet pavement. She was rescued by a bystander. She was unconscious. She regained consciousness. The bystander has called us and wants her to be evaluated. Chicago ALS Rig 2, you're responding. Gordon Vasquez, 64-year-old male with bleach burns, going to the hospital. He is going to Northwestern Memorial. North LaSalle Drive, entrance to southbound Lakeshore Drive. A collision has occurred between a car and a semi-trailer. The semi-truck has uh, jackknifed. We're going to need uh, CPD District 18, Unit 3 and 1. 
Chicago Fire Department injured four speedy. Chicago Fire Department Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, when you're done with that basement fire, you might be needed at this jackknifed semi. If they can't easily get that guy back into a position where he can roll that truck out of there. Chicago Fire Department Engine 3, Engine Company 42, you are needed at the Lakefront Trail, just south of Oak Street Beach. Let's see how this warehouse situation is going. Joan Yalicento. 27 year old female minor burns she was released by EMS treated on site Daniel Quisiza will be transported to the hospital his burns are pretty mild but he demands to be seen by a doctor so we'll take him to Northwestern Memorial. Madeline Robertson, a 44-year-old female, she is located at 218 North Jefferson Street, Chicago ALS, Rig 7, Loop Station, you are responding. She is just uh, finishing up her night shift job at an office, and she felt way too feverish and lightheaded to drive home. The office manager took her temperature, and she is 102.4. Gordon Flaherty, 39-year-old male, no history of asthma, difficulty breathing, was treated on site. He definitely now has awareness that he is likely an asthmatic. He refused transportation to the hospital. He was treated on site with albuterol nebulizer and advised to follow up with his physician as soon as possible. Burglar alarm triggered in, oh wow, 
furniture store. Yeah, like anybody's going to actually try to break in and steal furniture out of 371 West Ontario Street. It's probably a faulty alarm system. CPD District 18, Unit 2, you want to go over there and check that faulty alarm system because I doubt anybody's stealing furniture. ALS rigs one through three, please stand by. I am looking to find a call that requires your attention. Forty one oh seven fifty second Street, New York ALS Rig One. You are responding to Zoe Otley, a solo pilot who emergency landed her aircraft on the roadway. glass shattered in her cockpit. She is unable to move her left hand. It has large shards of glass in it. Ambulance is three minutes out. I think I heard a Chicago telephone. CPD District 18, Unit 1 and Unit 3, your assistance is needed at the furniture store. Although furniture has not been stolen, there has definitely been a lot of vandalism with spray paint. Going to need to take down a vandalism report. Alan Iverson, accident on motorcycle, Chicago ALS Ridge 6 Loop Station, you're responding, 77 year old. He 
came down on his left side and tried to use his left leg to stop the collision. Ended up really badly injuring his left leg. Major traumatic injury to left leg. Yvonne Ricardez was taken to the hospital by the bystander. She refused to ride in our filthy, dirty little ambulance. That's literally what she said about our ambulances. I will have you know that our ambulances are cleaned after every patient. They are not filthy and they are not little. They are very big. But fine. If you don't want to ride our rig, she can go private. <laughs> She was transported by a friend to the hospital. Madeline Robertson, 44-year-old female, tested positive for COVID-19. She's going to be transported to the COVID unit, Northwestern Memorial. Smoke coming from in the forest preserve. Engine 3 speed if you want to go in there and check out what that smoke is. Someone probably started up a campfire. So I have suspended the phone lines temporarily. Any calls in progress will be handled. New calls will be diverted to other dispatchers. Alan Iverson, 77-year-old male, is being transported to trauma unit at Northwestern Memorial.
CPD District 18 Unit 1, you are needed over at the intersection of West Wolf Point Plaza and the North Orleans Street Bridge. New York ALS Rig 1. That's our aircraft. Yep, that's our aircraft crash patient. Zo Otley. She is being transported to Mount Sinai. Queens Hospital, Queens, New York. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3, you are going to 6 Columbus Circle to take a look at a suspicious package. ALS rigs 2 and 3, you guys are responding to a drive-by shooting. New York ALS rig 1, once you're done transporting, you are going to the drive-by shooting on Holland Tunnel. Or I should say in the Holland Tunnel. There are five victims involved. We're going to go ahead and put our phone lines onto full suspension. They are while we handle this situation. We're going to go ahead and I will slowly open phone lines. And by slowly, I'm just going to literally fling all the phone lines open. Except for our two New York lines. Because New York already needs enough of our assistance that we don't need to be taking new calls. Alright, so as soon as the New York Ambos are on site there, they've got to secure the area and then get our guys in there so they can rescue those people with gunshot wounds. Knuckles. Correction, Bernadette to Coles.
is a 37 year old female left arm gunshot wound Jasmine Nantes, 27-year-old female. She managed to get her body out of the way, but she got a glancing wound to her left hand. Yvonne Untz, 24 year old female. Took it in her shoulder. Sofia Quantrez, 48 year old female. She took it in the lower left abdomen. Abigail Del Rosa, 54 year old female. Took it in her left leg. These are all people who are pedestrians um, walking along the uh, I would call it the sidewalk apron of the tunnel. So like right, I think uh, there is the pedestrian bridges and actually that's the tunnel exit yeah but yeah they were on a walkway and then uh, okay here's the tunnel exits okay because it's a tunnel the GPS location is obviously inaccurate this is approximate vicinity of where the five pedestrians were injured Engine 5 Platform PFD North, you're responding and need your assistance with investigating that smoke. It's coming from up in the trees, like there might be some sort of electronic piece of equipment that's been left up there. West Cunningham Drive, person is violating terms of their parole. Palatine PD Unit 2, you're responding. Someone might be going to the clink. West Wilson Street person went to drive their car to their evening shift at the pharmacy. Their car is gone. The car was a green Honda it and it's gone.
person went out to the driveway and the car was gone. Palatine PD, Unit 3. You're responding. ALS rig three. You are transporting Jasmine Nantes to um, She has refused transport. She has outright refused transport. That to me means that she doesn't want to talk to a doctor or reveal anything. That means that she probably knows something about the person who committed the crime. She doesn't want to talk to a doctor. Either that or, you know, she, her wound was very minor. It was a glancing wound to her left hand. Bernadette to Coles. She is going to accept transportation to St. Mary's Hospital. New York ALS Rig 2, when you're done transporting, return back to the drive-by shooting seen what the fuck kind of person refuses transport after getting shot I mean it was really a glancing injury I mean there no bullet was in her hand no nothing she literally basically got scraped she scraped the side of her hand so I, I, I guess that's probably why she refused because it was so minor that's weird, refusing transport, but okay. Weird. Alrighty, we got a guy going to the clink. He's going to the Cook County Sheriff's Holding Center at Cook County Court, Third Circuit. Palatine PD Unit 4, Palatine PD Unit 1, your assistance is needed over at that West Wilson Street auto theft. Von Untz is being transported to the hospital. She's going to St. Mary's. ALS Rig 3, you are transporting Sophia 
Quantrez with that abdominal injury to St. Mary's Hospital. So yeah, I got a picture of Jasmine Nantes' hand, the 27-year-old female who refused transport. It was, she literally just got scratched. That's how quick she was to get her hand and body out of the way. And that's why she refused transport. She is also completely uninsured. So, yeah. Not even sure if she's a legal immigrant or not. I'm not allowed to check on that, but there's a lot of reasons why some with minor injuries, even if they're a gunshot, could refuse transport. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3. You're going to go over to the drive by shooting scene and take evaluation of everything that has happened, get crime scene images, you know, do the whole dusting for fingerprints and all that stuff. New York ALS Rig 2, Langone, you are transporting Abigail Del Rosa. She 
is going to St. Mary's Hospital. Oh boy, that was that was chaos. Dealing with New York and Chicago and Palatine all at the same time is freaking chaos. Gould was swimming in the water. Water was very cold. She came out shivering and a bystander called for our assistance. Chicago ALS Rig 5, you are going to evaluate a hypothermic woman. She is 42 years old. Palatine PD Unit 1, you'll respond to a car that hit a power pole on North Smith Street, uh, just north of Walter Sundling Jr. High. Palatine Fire Department North Engine 1 and 3 Speedy, you guys are responding. I'll be sending Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2 with you guys from north. Palatine ALS Rig 1 and 5 North, you guys are responding just in case there's injuries. Oh my god, the phones are ringing off the hook. East Heatherly Drive, a person's utility room, their power panel has caught fire. Engine 4 Speedy, Engine 2 South, you guys are responding. Receive a parkway and North Crestview Drive. A vehicle has crashed into a person's. What the? Oh, okay. Well, their uh, parkway tree has been uh, uprooted. Palatine Ever Rescue Vehicle 1 <laughs> South. Palatine PD Unit 4. You guys are responding. Initial response. I'm going to send over Palatine ALS Rig 2 North just in case someone's injured. There's no documentation of injury though. was struck by lightning, came down and struck three pedestrians. Uh, correction, the three people were in their vehicle with the windows down. Yes, great idea. In the middle of a rainstorm, driving with the windows down, power line came and swung into the vehicle and the uh, vehicle basically turned into a gigantic electric chair, so to speak. Um, the three people were able to get out of the vehicle 
all three of them do have pretty serious injuries to document. Palatine ALS rigs 3, 4, and 7. You are responding from Walgreens South. Terry Famartes, 51 year old female. These people are lucky to be alive still. Charles Xavieras, 81 year old male. Engine 4 Speedy, Engine 2, you guys are responding. South Vermont Street, down power line. Engine 5 Platform, you're responding. Palatine PD Unit 2, your assistance is needed at the car versus power pole uh, just north of Sunling Junior High School. Gould, 42 year old female with severe hypothermia. She's going to need to go to the hospital. She's going to Northwestern Medicine, Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Palatine ALS Rig 4 is ready to transport Riku Henderson 
with electrical burns to his torso. He's going to trauma unit. Northwest Community Hospital. $3,000 tax credit for finishing 15 fire station missions. Seven weekend event tasks completed. We receive a $100,000 credit. Terry Femartes in critical condition, severe electrical burns across both arms and her chest. She's going to critical care at Northwest Community Hospital, bypassing the emergency room straight to ICU. Daniel Levanovic, 71-year-old male, fell into a pile of tr tree trimmings and leaves. Severe lacerations to his legs and back. Palatin ALS Rig 8 North, you are responding. <coughs> to assist with cleaning up the mess, I will send over Engine 1 when Engine 1 becomes available. PD Wall Street Cruiser 3. <clears throat> you respond to a porta potty that got tipped over. Over by Murphy's Brothers Playground. Not sure how you're going to handle that whole porta toilet situation, but you wanted something to do. There you go. You have something to respond to. Go figure out what we need to do about that porta toilet. Assess the situation and let me know what other resources are needed. West Michigan Avenue
Terry Zanderson, 12 year old female. Choking on chicken bones. Heimlich maneuver was performed. She is able to breathe, but the mother is concerned that there is still chicken bones stuck in her throat. Palatine ALS Rig 2, please go respond on West Michigan Avenue, uh, Corner House, at South Stegan Street. She might have to go to bronchoscopy. $3,000 credit for finishing 10 ambulance missions. Fund was there for building a police station? Huh, twenty-five thousand dollar refund for building a small police station. Kind of want to have some facilities at O'Hare. No time to think about that. Phone just rang. Just north of Oak Street Beach, warrant enforcement. That means someone's probably going to the clink. CPD District 18 units 1 and 2, you guys are responding. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3, you can clear out of that port of toilet situation. Uh, actually, you can stay there. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 2, you need to provide security while the other resources respond. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 4, you are responding to Barclay Street Subway Station. Uh, it's actually the Chambers Street Subway Station, but you're going to be going to Barclay Street, right underneath uh, Barclay Street. There's um, 
a train derailed. You're going to need to help people use the underground corridor to escape that rail tunnel. East Cooper Drive, Anaphylaxis, Palatine ALS Rig 1 North, you're responding. Harry Rondone is a two year old child. Took the peanut butter from the babysitter and, you know, the rest of the story. Terry Zanderson, they uh, checked him out on the ambulance. They were able to get in there with the video laryngoscope. They saw no chicken bones, so they released him, treated on site. Someone's going to the clink. Oh, wow. Okay, so this guy was actually part of a gang. He was wanted for multiple counts of arson. So we're going to send him straight back to the federal prison where he came from. And that's the end of that. That guy's going to the clink.
Mountain Acura in Palatine. Their rooftop. Yeah, they actually have a wind turbine on top of the car dealership, and for some reason the gearbox caught fire. Engine 1, engine 3 speedy, and pumper 1. You guys are responding. I'm going to send over Palatine PD Unit 1 to provide security to the area. Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2 north, you are responding, as well as Engine 5 Platform north. Harry Rondon, peanut anaphylaxis patient, is ready for transport. He's going to Northwest Community Hospital. East Candlenut Lane. Ruth Osmond, 62 year old female. Insulin pump failed and started beeping. She's going to need insulin. Palatine ALS Rig 2 North, you're responding. Time PD Unit 2, your assistance is requested. Up at the Arlington Acura in Palatine. Fifteen oh eight West Harrison Street vicinity. Part of the uh, trees and dirt. It was a slight small landslide that blocked off the on ramp and uh, entrapped a vehicle or two, I think. Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, you are responding. Triage the situation and let us know what other assets you will need. Let's see if I can get 
some uh, transports for our New York ambulance. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3 and New York ALS Rig 1. You are responding to Center Street. Wow. Guy jumped out of the subway train was walking around in the tunnel and then got sideswiped by a subway train going in the other direction luckily those trains I don't think those are electric um, but either way his injury is a trauma not electrical so we're sending one of our ambulances over there Mateo Huevertes, 47 year old male West Kinsey Street Holiday Inn Ryan Nankovic a 62 year old male trouble breathing no history of asthma Chicago ALS Rig 5 Loop Station you're responding Thirteen twenty two North Cleaver Street, Lillian Devarez, states she was attacked by a coyote. She is a registered firearms owner. She deployed her firearm. The animal is dead, however she has sustained serious injuries to her leg and foot. CPD District 18, Unit 1. You are responding with Chicago ALS Rig 1. Lillian Devarez is a 64 year old female.
That makes things easier for the animal control. <laughs> That guy's a car accident waiting to happen. Somebody just flew past our house doing like 55 in a 25 zone. Ruth Osmond, the ambulance, they were able to get her insulin pump working again. She was treated on site. wind turbine on top of the Acura car dealership has been finally extinguished. I think Acura should stick to making cars. Ryan Nenkovic is being transported to the hospital. He was treated with albuterol nebulizer, still having problems breathing. They'll be transporting him to Northwestern Memorial. <laughs> Left leg amputation. Mateo Huvertes. He'll be transported to New York Presbyterian. His left leg is badly crushed. 
and amputation will likely be necessary, but who knows, New York Presbyterian might be able to save the leg. I doubt it, though. PD Wall Street Cruiser 4, you are going to uh, <laughs> looks like the Water Club restaurant and diner. Part of the building has collapsed into the water. Um, Probably not a good idea to name your diner the Water Club and then put it right on the water because then it's going to end up in the water. Joan Levanovich, 54-year-old female. me a detection by an Apple Watch again. Joan Levanovich, 54-year-old female, Palatine ALS Rig 2. You are going to the Menard store on Lake Cook Road. She was feeling funny when she was shopping. She checked her ECG using the Apple Watch and it said AFib. Call medical assistance immediately. I think this is the third time this week we've had an Apple Watch save someone's life. I'll be right back.
Joan Lovanovich, 54-year-old, confirmed with AFib on the Philips MRX. 5 lead. They're going to transport her to the hospital for further cardiac evaluation. Northwest Community Hospital, Pod C, receiving. East Zinnia Lane, manhole fire, woman looked out the window of her house and said, the street's on fire, you might want to send somebody over. At first we thought that she was just a elderly lady going nuts, but then she said, no, I mean it, the manhole in the middle of our street is on fire. Engine 1 north, engine 3 speedy north. You guys are responding. Sophie Winters, 39-year-old female, with a history of premature ventricular contractions. She states her chest feels weird and feels exactly the way it has when she's had premature ventricular contractions. We're going to send the Chicago ALS Rig 7 over to evaluate at 1047 West Monroe Street in the row homes. Burning pile of leaves on Wanda Lane outside of Pride Automotive Repair. Engine 2, Engine 4 Speed, EPFD South. You guys are responding.
4528 21st Street. Vehicle fell into a sinkhole. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3. You are responding. New York ALS Rig 1, you're responding to Benjamin Richards, 79-year-old male. Crash landed his aircraft into the park. Not sure what park that is. I don't think that's a park at all. I think that's a... Oy vey! He's lucky he's still alive. He crash landed into a cemetery. What a terrible place to crash land your plane. Although, he lived, but still. Six six eight North LaSalle Boulevard in the southbound lane. A yellow taxi cab has broken down. Chicago Fire Department Engine three. Chicago Police Department District eighteen Unit three. You guys are responding. See if you can get that car on the roll again. You're looking for a yellow Toyota Prius. Won't be hard to find. It's literally got big letters on it that say yellow cab. And it's a yellow cab. Sophie Winters will be transported to cardiology. She'll be going to Northwestern Memorial.
Evan Hendos, 71 year old male. Fell down the stairs at the Shed Aquarium. Chicago ALS Rig 5, Loop Station, you're responding. Benjamin Richards, 79 year old male, with glass injuries to both of his arms. He'll be going to St. Mary's Hospital. New York ALS rigs 2 and 3, you're responding to a drug lab fire, 2 patients burned, 3406 Skillman Avenue. Virginia De Rosa, 27 year old female. Chemical burns. On both arms. Olivia Beatrice, twenty four year old female, smoke inhalation. And definitely not the kind of smoke she was looking to inhale.
4605 48th Avenue, ceiling collapse. Two people need transport. New York ALS Rig 1, you are responding. Richard Filson. Forty nine year old male, anaphylaxis. Chicago ALS Rig 3, you are responding. Fire in the mail storage room at the Chicago Post Office. Yikes. Chicago Fire Department, Engine 1, Engine 2, Speedy, Engine Company 1, Engine Company 42, Engine 4, and Engine 3, Engine 4, Speedy, U4 are responding. Let me know if you need additional resources. We have received a correction. It is a fire in the utility room next to one of the mail storage rooms. There is minimal risk of destruction of mail, but we do need to get that fire put out quickly or there could be risk. Evan Hendos treated on site for minor bruising after falling downstairs. He will follow up with his physician in his hospital on his own. Fair Dodger at the Armitage Avenue L station. CPD District 18, Unit 2. If you can go remove that person from the train.
North Larrabee Street, room fire in high rise condominium, condominium 614, Chicago Fire Department, engine 5 speedy, you are responding. Michael Trayton, a 37 year old male, has minor burns. Chicago ALS Rig 2, you're responding. Richard Filson is being transported to the hospital in critical condition. He is not breathing on his own. He's on the ventilator. ALS Rig 1 handling the ceiling collapse. Thinks that's over here. I'll just pull him up this way. Maria Jose Edvard. She is a 54 year old female. Crush injury to the left foot. She'll be transported to Elmhurst Hospital, Queens. Chicago Fire Department, Engine 4 Speedy, your assistance is needed at 720 North Larrabee Street. Michael Trayton, 37 year old male, is ready for transport to the hospital. He'll be going to the burn clinic at Northwestern Memorial.
astounding. Both of the people in that drug lab fire refused transport. The lady with the chemical burns on both arms, they were... They weren't exactly minor looking, but not extremely severe either. She refused transport. She claimed that she'll see her own physician. And the woman with smoke inhalation, she claims that she doesn't need the hospital. She feels fine. So we'll uh, go ahead and clear our guys out of there. Thirty-nine, 47th Street, New York, ALS Rig 1, you're responding. A small aircraft has crash-landed on the roadway. Stefan Ungerson, a 19 year old student pilot, was doing his first solo flight when the aircraft failed out. He managed to safely land the aircraft, although he has minor injuries to his legs. Chicago Fire Department, Engine 3, Heavy Rescue Vehicle, One, Lisa Ulrich, Forty-six-year-old female. Drove off of a wet patch of roadway. Her car slid off of the bridge and now it's in the drink. Chicago ALS Rig 5, you are responding, 410 West Washington Street.
Chicago Fire Department, all engines, engine 5 speedy, 4 speedy, 2 speedy, and engine 1, you guys are responding. <coughs> CPD District 18, units 1 and 2, you guys are responding. <coughs> Battalion Chief, engine company 42. Chicago Engine 6 Platform, Engine Company 1, you are responding. Chicago Fire Department resources are unavailable. Chicago Ambulance resources are available. East Lily Lane an ambulance carrying three EMS workers and a patient has overturned after sliding off of a wet roadway. Palatine ALS rigs one through four. Correction, we're just going to have Palatine LS rigs 1, 5, 2, and 8 respond from Walgreens North. <coughs> Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 2, North, you are responding with Engine 1 and 3, North. <coughs> Palatine PD Unit 1 and Palatine PD Unit 4, you guys are responding. Okay, that right there is enough for me to want to halt all the phone lines temporarily while we deal with these situations. Back, I need to hit the urinarium.
triage these people before we transport them. Ella Ricardez, driver of the ambulance that overturned and rolled over. She has glass in her arm and eye with head injury. Northwest Community Hospital, please be advised you'll be receiving four critical trauma patients. Ella Ricardez, 40 year old. Wait a minute. Who did I just send to trauma then? Oh, Amanda Quarzanita was sent to a uh, trauma unit. She has a head injury. And Ella Ricardez has the head injury with glass in her arm and eye. So they're both going to the same unit, Pod C. Trauma. Edward Fernandez patient in the ambulance. He has appendicitis and now additional blunt trauma to his abdomen from unsecured objects in the rear cabin of the ambulance. He'll be transported directly to the operating room at Northwest Community Hospital to take care of that appendix. Stephen Contrell 
blunt trauma to his chest from unsecured objects in the rear cabin of the ambulance. He'll be transported to Northwest Community Hospital trauma. Chicago ALS Rig 5 is ready to transport Lisa Ulrich hypothermia from standing in the cold water. Aside from that, she probably won't have a very remarkable hospital record, so she'll be out of there pretty quickly once they handle the hypothermia. She'll go to Delray Medical Center. Stephen Ungerson, 19-year-old male, landed his aircraft on a roadway with minor injuries to his legs, refused transport to the hospital after receiving on-site treatment and pain medications. He states he will follow up with his own doctor. New York ALS Rig 1, you can clear out. ALS Rig 1, you are responding to 1556 Myrtle Avenue. Subway station collapse. ALS rigs 3 and 2. You are responding to a tanker ship. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3. You are going to 249 West 43rd Street vicinity. Um, actual location is Pier 76. Basement fire on West Colfax Street, 
Palatine ALS Rig 3 and 6 South. You guys are responding with Pumper 1, Engine 2, and Engine 4 Speedy from PFD South. Palatine PD, Unit 1, you are responding. Deidre Firstovich, 72-year-old female. Amy Uzmerzvik. Lots of turnover today. 270k of uh, spending on new station, new ambos. 363k of turnover. Almost 100k of uh, solid profit. North Bissell Drive. Horse riding accident with vehicle. Two people in the vehicle are injured and the horse rider. Who the hell rides a horse in the middle of... Well, I we do have the stables way the hell up nor, um, 
not even going to question it. Palatine ALS rig 7 and 4. Uh, Palatine ALS rig. You guys need to turn around. So a Palatine ALS rig 7 and 4. You guys are responding first. Palatine PD unit 4. You are responding. Engine 3. And it's speedy and engine one PFD North. You guys are responding. Who the hell rides a horse in this weather? The Palatine stables are like way the frick up, like way the hell up here, or way the hell I don't know, like some some sort of way the hell in the way the hell north area. We've been invited to a Call of Duty tournament. It's actually at the Hyundai of Palatine where that lady gave birth. Palatine Engine 2, when you're done with that basement fire, you and Palatine ALS Rig 1, along with Palatine PD Unit 3, going to head over there and have some fun. And that means, yes, I will be doing a Call of Duty stream this evening. Not sure if we'll be keeping the video on demand around. We'll see how well it goes, because, you know, how... I kind of want to keep my YouTube and Twitch channels. I want to keep the language semi-clean, and Call of Duty tends to bring out the worst of my mouth, and I can really get sewer mouth on it, so... Depending on how sewer mouthy I get, we'll see if we keep the VOD. Uh, storage unit at the Walmart, their uh, storage room. They've got some uh, electronics in there that have malfunctioned. And we do not have any engines available. Uh, All phone lines to halt. Engine four speedy pumper one. That's all I got for you guys at Walmart. You guys are going to have to deal with that North Rand Road. You only got one engine and a pump. We have no other engines available. Palatine ALS Rig 8. Uh, scratch that Palatine ALS Rig 2. You can respond. You just uh, finished turning around, so you can go ahead and respond to this horse riding accident.
Michelle Xavier is treated on site for minor abrasions and bruises. Her horse is dead. She refused transport to the hospital. She was thrown off of the horse and then the horse was run over by the vehicle. So the horse was crushed. Isabella Levesque, 77 year old female, driver of the vehicle, major injuries to her abdomen from shattered glass. She'll be transported to Northwest Community Hospital. Sarah Avarezek, she is a 20-year-old female. She inhaled toxic fumes. She is being transported to someone named the hospital Midtown Meat Market, another person named the hospital The Chop Shop. New York is nuts. New York is nuts. We will send her to a real hospital um how's about she goes to ah our lady of mercy hospital that sounds way better than the meat market or the chop shop new york als rig 2 you report back to the Seabrin tanker ship situation as soon as you are finished with the transport. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 2, you can clear out of that accelerants near fire source. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot of response to that. Everybody's responding to the Seabrin.
Tia Watigo V says. Tila Wativo V says, a 48-year-old female left arm injured by shrapnel, severe injury, she is going to Our Lady of Mercy Hospital, because I do not send people to the meat market or chop shop. I told you everybody's going to be responding to the Sebrin. ALS rig one, you can clear out of that. Train station collapse. All medicals are clear. New York ALS rig two, you can clear out of that. Sebrin. Look at this absolute swarm of vehicles coming.
New York ALS rigs 1, 2, and 3. You are responding to 529 2, 2nd Avenue, major jackknifed semi truck collision. Uh, 21 people injured. Mass Cal. sure that we've shut the phone lines. They are indeed closed. We're going to take care of things here in New York right now. Because New York is in clusterfuck mode. <laughs> NYCFD can stand for New York City Fire Department or New York Clusterfuck Department.
Diana Carlisle, 41-year-old female, thrown from her vehicle. No seatbelt was worn, severe glass injuries, and major trauma. She'll be sent to St. Luke's Medical Center. ALS Rig 3, when you're done transporting, return back to the situation. Lucas Navartes, a 54-year-old male. Cervical spine injury, whiplash. He'll be transported to St. Luke's Medical Center. New York ALS Rig 2, when you're done transporting, return back to the jackknife trailer.
Martell, 49-year-old female with back injury. She's being transported to St. Luke's. Samuel Dalton. Fifty four year old male. Leg injury not otherwise specified. Being transported to St. Luke's Medical Center. New York ALS Rig 2, when you're done transporting, return back to the Jackknife Semi-Truck. New York ALS Rig 3, please return to the Jackknife Semi-Truck. NYPD Wall Street Cruisers 3 and 2, you can report to the Jackknife Semi-Truck. Provide security to the area. Bella Edelson. A 64-year-old female blunt trauma to the chest lung injury she'll be transported to St. Luke's Medical Center New York ALS Rig 1, when you're done transporting, return back to the scene. Valeria Jacklin, twenty-four year old female,
Valeria Jacqueline, puncture wound to abdomen, possible perforation of an organ, critical condition. She's being transported to St. Luke's Medical Center. Heather Garcia. Blunt trauma to the abdomen. She'll be transported to St. Luke's Medical Center. PD Wall Street Cruiser 3, you can clear out. New York ALS Rig 1, you are transporting Virginia Bontley. Thirty year old female. left arm fracture. She'll be transported to St. Luke's Medical Center. ALS Rig 2 and 3, you are responding to 3209 38th Avenue. <coughs> Serious accident involving a bus. Two people require transport.
CPD District 18 Unit 2. You're going to provide security over at West Harrison Street on ramp where that landslide occurred. Palatine PD Unit 4, Palatine ALS Rig 4, Walgreens South. Engine 4 Speedy PFD South. You guys are going to be going to a party in one hour. Over by Locust Park. Hundred thirty K of turnover today, hundred and sixty K profit. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser three, you'll be responding to eleven West Forty Second Street. Freight train derailed on its way into. I didn't know they took freight at Grand Central, but apparently they do. Looking for a few more transports before we close up the night. New York ALS Rig 1, aircraft emergency landed on 4609 Queens Boulevard. New York ALS Rig 1, you are responding. Rig 3. Robert Martez, a 65 year old male. Severe whiplash, cervical spine injury, critical condition, unable to move anything below his neck and is having problems breathing. He has been placed on the ventilator, suspecting quadriplegic spinal cord injury. 
transporting to St. Mary's Hospital. Trying to see where, if anybody needs transport. Before Ambo gets too far out of this area. transported someone out of that area right there to that emergency landing on roadway. The plane's still there. Oswald with right wrist fracture. She'll be transported to orthopedics. She's going to be taken to Elmhurst Hospital.
black side one fire truck away from being solved they want me to build one small police station I almost want to build a small fire station just so I can be the one fire truck to solve this thing problem is every new fire station I add adds more requirements upon me so it could get risky as far as you know I could suddenly end up having to get mobile command vehicles and might get really screwed over besides I did say I was specifically looking for transports and there's nobody looking for transports Rig 2 you can clear out. See what's going on over in Chicago. We are th three transports short of our 80 that we did yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Ambo station at Palatine. and we'll take three medical transports before we close out the night and then we'll be heading over to this uh, Call of Duty tournament
East Heron Drive, Teresa Wakalowitz, seventy two year old female. Fell down the stairs, she cannot move her legs anymore. Palatine ALS rig 7 South, you are responding. PD Wall Street Cruiser 3. You will be responding to a freighter derailment at 111 East Houston Street. Oh, yeah, that's an underground freight line. ALS rigs one through three. I am looking to see if there's anybody that needs transport. Stand by. New York ALS rig three and two. You are responding to a aircraft crash. 4602 37th Avenue. The aircraft crash landed onto uh, crash landed onto the roadway outside of New York Presbyterian Church. Both persons survived, but the aircraft um, other things could be said about the aircraft. The aircraft did not fare so well. I don't think that airplane will be flying again.
Alrighty, Teresa Kalowicz, 72 year old female, fell down the stairs, can't move her legs. She's going to be transported to a hospital by private ambulance. She wants to go all the way downtown to Northwestern Memorial. Our ambulance was like, nope, we're not going that far. Um, we can take you to Northwest Community. We can take you to Alexian Brothers at the furthest. Maybe Luther in general. We're not going all the way downtown. If you want to go there, you'll have to have a private ambulance take you because you're in stable condition otherwise. So they've stabilized her, and uh, that's all they can do. So they uh, paged out a private ambulance for her. CPD District 18, Unit 1. CFD, Engine 1, Engine Company 1. Chicago ALS, Rig 1. You guys are going to a party on Madison Street in Oak Park. wonder what kind of party that is. Madison Street is... I know the Chicago Bulls are there, but that's definitely not anywhere near the Chicago Bulls. Don't ask me what kind of party somebody has in a Walgreens, but yeah, there's a party in a Walgreens in two hour, in an hour and a half from now. What the hell kind of party do people have at s 8 o'clock inside of a Walgreens? Oh, that makes sense. Walgreens Call of Duty Tournament. The pharmacy staff are hosting a open house as well, so they're going to be opening the backside of the pharmacy up to visitors to take a tour of how they fill medications, and people with prescriptions can even, if they want to, assist the pharmacist in filling their own prescription. PD Wall Street Cruiser 3. I'm looking for a new assignment for you. Stand by. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 3. You are going to 260 Broadway. <coughs> new York City Hall. There has been a uh, roofing collapse. New York ALS Rig 1, you are responding as well. New York ALS Rig 1, cancel response. They have full coverage on ambulances.
409k in the bank. 452k of turnover today. 182k of profit. Not doing it tonight, but I think tomorrow we'll probably build a fire station in New York. thinking I'll put it over there's New York Presbyterian FDNY engine 15, ladder 18. So we're going to actually. Oh, do I do it now? Do I. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> that way we can uh, start up tomorrow and we actually have our new FD ready to go. Company 15 is up and running. staff in there so we can go full staff on that truck. Gonna expand it up to three vehicles. Speedy. And now we have engine three speedy. We have nine employees staffed and assigned to a truck. So now, tomorrow, when we wake up, we can actually start doing some... Oh, look! They need one fire truck! One measly fire truck for an agricultural chemical leak at 97 Chamber Street. FDNY Engine 1, why don't you bring that shiny new truck over there? Besides, we're still waiting for our two ALS rigs to finish up and get their transports ready to go, so... We'll 
let's see, where else do they need one measly fire truck? <laughs> Oh no! I forgot to shut the phone line. FDNY phone line off. I gotta set all the hirings. Tomorrow we gotta do all the hiring. go ahead and cancel the recruitment on New York Ambulance and do one day. That way tomorrow we'll just go through and set all the stations to full three-day hiring. Three days left till we have trauma services at Good Shepherd, which means it'll be a fully usable, fully fledged as fledgy as it gets hospital well next we'll need neuro and cardiology but trauma is usually the most common we'll get gynecology last because that's like one of the last things to really be needed every baby that we've had get born has been healthy Hazardous materials, truck fire, FDNY, engine too speedy. Take that brand new engine over to 432 West 38th Street. Dang it, should have got a platform truck. <laughs> FDNY, engine three speedy, you are responding to 284 South Street. Oh, that's hilarious. Right outside of FDNY EMS Station 4, there is a trash bin fire. <laughs> FDNY EMS Station 4 says, well, yeah, we don't have a fire truck here. There's only ambulances here. PD Wall Street Cruiser 3. You're going to be responding to a soccer game along with New York ALS Rig 1. Enjoy the soccer game, guys. Starts up in two hours and it'll be a two hour game. You guys get paid 2.5K just to. Sit around and watch a soccer game happen at the Hudson River Park. Hey, we still managed to eke out a little bit of a profit today despite me absolutely spending like nuts on new equipment. 456k of turnover, 16k profit. I'll take it. <laughs> New York ALS rig 2 and 3, you guys can clear out. 
no transport was needed for those patients. New York ALS Rig 3, you are going to the soccer game. FDNY Engine 3 Speedy, when you're done with that container fire, you can come over to the soccer game. Open up the New York ambulance phone line. Because it'll be five minutes before we get this ag chem leak solved. So I may as well try to get a couple more transports in. ALS Rig 2, you're responding to sinkhole with structural damage for people injured. That is located at uh, Uh, just outside the Brooklyn Federal Courthouse. Adams Street, South Adams Street. New York ALS Rig 1. New York ALS Rig 3. You guys are canceling out of that soccer game you will go back there but you need to report to this sinkhole situation and get these five people medical treatment first
ALS Rig 1, New York ALS Rig 3. PD Wall Street Cruiser 5 NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 6 you guys are going to clear out of your current situations with that person hit by train they dead there's no point in standing around there for the coroner and the arson investigator ain't going to show up till tomorrow at least so no point in standing around there you guys can go enjoy the soccer game. We'll have other officers take care of those two situations.
Danielle Praclete. She is a 52 year old female. She will be transported to Mount Sinai Hospital, which is literally right across the street, basically. New York ALS Rig 2, you return back as soon as you finish transporting. Okay, fine. Right across the street and around the corner. That's how close the hospital is. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 2. You are getting sent over to the soccer game. Have a good night and enjoy.
New York ALS Rig 1 and 3. You guys can go ahead and go to the soccer game. New York ALS Rig 2. You're going to stay on site and provide some security. Actually, scratch that. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 4. You are going to the federal courthouse to provide security. One measly transport from hitting 80. Let's go ahead and open up the Palatine phone line. Go ahead and hop over there. All the New York guys are settled in for the night, basically. Twelve minutes this uh Call of Duty tournament begins for one hour. Drugs warrant? How the what kind of vehicles am I going to need for that? Oh, they need SWAT for that. Although I can send the Popo to at least secure the area. So, CPD District 18, Unit 3, you're going to go and do a drugs warrant. Over at 2130 South China Place. That's new. West Cunningham Drive. David Bernice. A 68-year-old male. Fall injury on wet leaves. Palatine ALS, Rig 2, you are responding. Going to keep the phone line open. Not entirely sure if he's going to need transport or not. Engine 3 Speedy PFD North, you're going to respond and help uh, clean up that roadway. West Cunningham Drive. Alright guys, I got three of you viewing right now, which is astounding. Big thanks. The question is, and I want you guys to leave it in the chat. Do you want to switch over for an hour of Call of Duty? Or do we keep on dispatching straight through and go to our originally planned 8 o'clock closing time for the office? Because we could close out early and head over to that Call of Duty tournament for one hour. Or 
we can run the office till closing and tell the guys at the Call of Duty tournament that, you know, our officers will have fun with them, but I'm not going to be a part of it. Jacenas, 15 year old female. She was fiddling around in the utility room at the public park with her dad at Osage Park and got zapped by the electrical panel.
Genesis Gen Gisenes, 15 year old female being transported to Northwest Community Hospital Trauma Unit. Alrighty, we are about five minutes away from this uh, Call of Duty tournament starting. It actually just started, so um, I either have to log on now or forget it because they're going to end up starting without me. Asking everybody in the chat, do you want to have a one hour Call of Duty stream or should we keep going all the way up to the 8 o'clock closing time? Because they just started up a uh, Call of Duty tournament. 
over at the Locust Park. They're having a Sunset Call of Duty tournament. things for closing out. Alright, so we are going to go show up for that Call of Duty tournament. I will be back up on live on my phone in about 5 or 10 minutes. I just need to go do the getting ready for bed stuff so that I don't have to do it right after that because that's going to probably run up to an hour and a half so yeah I'll be back in about 10 minutes or so everyone thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the stream I'll be back to stream tomorrow we'll be doing more fire department work in New York City got our ambo department over there we got our popo department we're going to expand the entire set of uh, police fire and ambo over there and what the crap? People doing fireworks at this hour for what? Right, I'm not going to pay another ounce of attention to that. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get things ready for our Call of Duty stream. After we briefly view our balance sheet. fifty six k positive profit. Almost 500k of turnover. We will definitely hit 500k of turnover because of the assignments that our officers have been assigned with. In fact, we just uh, clicked over 522k and uh, 82k profits. So I'll